Checkmarks is obviously available to customers and partners. As a Salesforce ISV partner, we have about three products on App Exchange and working on the fourth. Every product that we have has to go through a checkmark code scan, and we have to submit a clean report for every release. We release three times a year, five times a year, we submit a clean report. But the good news is you have the same capability, particularly with larger or even mid-size implementations. You may have consultants, third-party partners, SI, your own internal folks. And this is a good way to make sure that the code that's getting written is secure. And checkmarks has been there for a very, very long time. But the new kid on the block is Salesforce's scanner. And this is an SFDX plugin that your developers can use and make sure that their code is written securely. And I'm sure as time passes by, Salesforce scanner is going to get more and more capabilities. It's the nature of how Salesforce packs innovation. So I, I'm very excited that customers have more choice to do like code scanning and make sure that they're secure, particularly things like Sockle injection, cross-site scripting. These are the kind of things that you want to be aware of. As the transformation footprint of Salesforce in your enterprise increases, you're not doing experience cloud or communities, right? You have customer-facing communities, partner-facing communities, and all of these experiences, you want to be careful about what kind of vulnerabilities that they may potentially have because of custom code that was written. I've seen a lot in the past where organizations have built really large communities-based sites, but the implementation and the code on it was not secure. So even though the platform itself is very secure, there is always a chance of human error or omission that can cause some of these vulnerabilities to creep into your environment.